Well, hey, huge tube. It's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I wanted to do a follow-up video. I got myself curious when I did the last video on how much can we really powder coat all at one time in a practical manner, I guess. I say in a practical manner. I'm not sure how practical this is to... <laughs> to... Uh, powder coat this many bullets this is very heavy I mean it's almost pulling me over holding it out like that um, that's a lot of bullets right there so uh, I'll say in a practical manner as in uh, I could do more <laughs> but I know that this will fit inside my huge my huge container right here so um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm on. We're gonna just see. Can you powder coat this much, this many bullets all at one time, and will they turn out wonderful like they always do for me? So, so what I've done is, uh, is I just I using the same hodgepodge of powders that I used in the last video, except for I added a tiny bit more blue and. Uh, Eastwood blue and Harbor Freight white in there um, just to uh, add a little bit more powder in the bowl and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did the last time I'm gonna go ahead and pour all of this powder right inside this container right here and uh, And then I'm going to take all of these bullets right here. And uh, this time I brought my uh, my oven tray here because I'm going to need it to support this grate, this uh, wire mesh, when I go to the oven with it. So the way that I'm going to do it is I know I'm not going to try to shake out that much all at once. So I'm going to use another old wire mesh that I have here. And, uh, and I'm just going to shake off a little bit of powder at a time and then pour it onto the mesh that's going in the oven. Alright, so let's get started. I have never done a big old batch like this before, but I have been curious in the past. So here we go. We're just going to pour it all in there. Look at all that. <laughs> there it is, y'all. <laughs> I know y'all probably think I'm crazy, but uh, my camera died just about the time I, uh, just as I was getting these in there. Now, you, <laughs> I'm, I got it back going. Um, yeah, you guys might think I'm, uh, I'm crazy, but uh, <laughs> uh, that's a lot of bullets in there. Check that out. I'm just curious. I'm really curious. Look how many bullets that is. So we're just gonna do the little flip up like we did in the last video and just see how it goes. Uh, let's see if uh, this will actually work and I'm just gonna do it like this. I don't have to do the Elvis shake. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to mess up my hips. It's a big old heavy sucker, but we can just do it just like this, see? And this is a, uh, a number two container for anybody that's curious about the recycling thing on it. And we're just going to roll it like this. That's a big old honking pickle jar full of, uh, of bullets right there. This will be uh, by far the largest batch I've ever tried to uh, try to powder coat. So I'm just going to let you see how long it takes to get them to. I don't want to cut the camera here. Cut the. Uh, I'll just let you see the whole thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a, it's a, not very hard except for it's a big old heavy thing. But, uh, you know, we're not doing nothing, we're just letting the table hold it. Instead of going any further, we'll just see if that did it already. I don't even know. We'll just take a quick look. We can close it up and try it some more. See them bullets? Look at that, they're beautiful. Coated, perfect. So now all we gotta do is shake the powder off of them and uh, get them in the basket. That's it. So, so that part, so far, that looks really good. Yep. So now, I'm gonna use this old basket right here to shake the powder off. And, uh, and then I'm gonna pour them inside this one that's going in the oven. And we'll just see if we can fit them off in there. So we're just gonna put a little bit at a time in here, right? Just do that many right there. We'll shake that off like that. Make sure we get it all off. And right there in the basket. Let's do that again. Shake all that powder off good. Right in the basket. Shake that off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, we'll just do the rest of them here. Oh, that's a pile right there. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, shake that off. Do. Right in the basket, like that. And uh, we're gonna have a pile of them. And we'll just see, uh, you know, are these gonna stick or what are they gonna do? So I'm gonna put these right in the oven, just like that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put them in the oven just like that, all right? <laughs> and uh, I'll bring you right back as soon as they come out. All right, so they're just barely, barely lukewarm, but I wanted them pretty cool because I knew it'd be pretty warm deep inside of this pile. So, um, you know, so far so good. Um, I will say this. A lot of people, whenever they think of a pile of bullets like this with powder coating, they think of it as all just melting together. Um, I, I'm thinking, my thoughts on it is that, you know, these bullets, you know, this lead conducts heat really well and holds heat very well. So one of the things that happens, um, and my theory on, you know, being able to lower the temperature on the bullets is that the bullets, unlike steel, it, the steel takes so long to heat up, you know, when you're powder coating steel, for instance. Um, but with the lead, it really holds the heat well. So anyway, enough of that. Um, so let's see. I didn't, I, I, when I put these in the oven, I put them in exactly like um, you saw them when I poured them in here. I didn't want to change a thing. I didn't spread them out or nothing. Just left them exactly the same. So here they are. Let's uh, let's just see what happens. I have them on my uh, on my tray, as you can see. Yep, right there. So I got my uh, I got my box. I'm gonna dump them in the box and shake them in the box, and that's how I'm planning on breaking them up, just like I like to do. 
So let's take the bullets. Right now, I'm gonna break them for you right here. I think. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make a mess. Of this. All right, right there. <laughs> let's, see, let's just see what happens. I mean, they, they feel like they just all broke apart just as soon as I threw them in the box. All right, you see uh, a little clump right here. I'm gonna show you the clump. There's the clump. All right, now watch this. See that? That was the clump. There you go. And in my opinion, they look nearly perfect. All right, now watch this. Here's another clump. The rest of them almost fell apart already. There's a clump right there. See? Oop. They just, they broke just by the pressure of me squeezing them. You see that? I don't even need to shake them. Um, now that was even better than I expected. I expected it to kind of work, I guess. All right, you know what, just... That's, that's usually all I do is that kind of shake right there. There they all are. Let's just see what they look like. Kind of hard to hide anything when you... Right there. Now that's an up close and personal view, I think. I mean, these are, um, I'll be honest with you guys, um, they are just as beautiful as anything I've ever made. Um, really, I mean, all of the bullets that I make, they can't be no better than that. So, you've seen it here. Um, now, what I did a little bit different, if you watched my, late, my last video on powder coating that I done, um, powder coating for worry warts. Now, one thing that I've done a little tiny bit different here is one of uh, uh, one of the secrets um, that I call the key things to do in these cases here is to bring that temperature down just a little bit. Um, these were done at two. Uh, well, the last batch was done at 275 for 15 minutes, just because it was a good sized batch. Now, this was a really good sized batch. So I've done it for 275 still, um, except for I cranked it up to 18 minutes. I added a few extra minutes just because I knew it was a big, thick pile of them. I mean, this is a lot of bullets right here. It's a, you know, for one. <laughs> it's a lot of bullets. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so I guess, you know, the, the, the question is, you know, can it be done? And there's the answer. I know that uh, Uncle Jim likes my signs, so this is for Uncle Jim. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I was wanting to experiment with this uh, by doing a huge batch that way. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I, I wanted to show you guys, but I, I wanted I needed to prove it to myself that it could be done as well. Now you see how nice they broke apart that lump that I had in my hand, and it just, just busted like a delicate piece of glass. And so they obviously don't have a mark on them where they were stuck together or onto the wire mesh. I'll see you guys in the next video.